Hey, I'm Paul Mark Lomas, and uh, today is a sad day in the wrestling world. One of uh, the great managers of all time has died today. William Moody, or everyone knows him as Paul Bearer, has uh, passed away today. It's a sad day for wrestling, wrestling fans, wrestling anything. Uh, if you don't know who he is, because he was probably just born in the last year or so, or the last decade, he was the manager of The Undertaker, and Kane, and even Mankind sometimes. Uh, the true original. You know, a guy who personified death, um, bringing people to the, <laughs> the other side. I mean, he's a bear, you know, it's just where you guys lost you know, from. And, um, I don't think he's dead now. I mean, the guy just passed away today. Sad loss. I mean, I remember him in the I2 era. But the Undertaker, he came, went down and out, switching sides here and there. Went to Mystery Dark, went to the face table the whole time. And, um, showing the stat that he's gone. Uh, yeah, he came out. You know, I think in the, when Eric Taylor basically came out, the next three months later, he became the manager of him. Yeah, he, he was good because he was a guy who, I, you know, Eric Taylor, when he first came out, he never really talked. He didn't really have a talker. And basically, you know, he's a guy that gave these guys a voice. You know, King didn't talk. I mean, some of these big guys coming out there, they have talent, they have athletic ability, but they're not able to talk. And he really has a spooky effect to both of these men. And, um, yeah, uh, I miss them. I mean, you know, it sucks that they don't use them with WWE no more. They just stopped using them, and um, I'm just glad to see him back for a few shorts with Kane. But, uh, I mean, you know, he, he gave a lot to these big guys, and he had this, you know, this spookiness to the Undertaker, you know. They had a great feud with Kane, and he was just in the middle of it. He was the father of both of them, and then he was the father of destruction, you know. <laughs> Uh, I remember a lot, so many memories in that tour, you know, one of my favorites was, uh, the few with X-Pac and Kane, when, um, I think it was like the week after X-Pac hit, came with the fireball, and basically his freaking promo was just, it was just, it was crazy, I mean, how he set up, he was so emotional, like a real father would be, you know, you know, Kane lost, you know, later on, but he got his revenge at WrestleMania, I thought it was just great promo, then you remember him with the other takers. You know, um, it was SummerSlam, he was going against the other Undertaker, and he had the urn, he had the lights going around, and uh, it was fantastic. You know, even WrestleMania, I think WrestleMania 20, he came back with the Undertaker, he brought the dead man back, and I got a motorcycle driving back. <laughs> but, you know, some people like, I like the bad ass Undertaker, but um, I like the scene on the dead man better. Uh, I mean, then, you know, he came back for, I think, you know, I'm wait, with a few between the Undertaker and um, Kane, you know. Bring that whole thing back and I think confidence and then we went to Kane's side and Kane won a few basically. Uh, so many memories of this guy. I remember when um, I think it was Undertaker versus the Dudley Boys. And Undertaker had Paul, I mean, Paul Bear was stuck in the um, a uh, case and then they had a cement truck behind him and there were Undertaker people from 3D up and all that crap. Paul Heyman was included in this match. And basically what he did was you know, he buried him in cement and I thought it was pretty funny. And, uh, I felt bad for Paul Barrett, don't get me wrong. I mean, that was after WrestleMania 20, I believe. Uh, so many memories with this guy. I mean, just, yeah, he, like I said, yeah, he was big for those uh, big guys, you know, Taker and Kane. I mean, he really helped them with their talk ability because, you know, these big guys that come in there don't really have a lot of charisma sometimes. You can't just come out there and you drop the biggest promo of your life. You can't be exciting, you know what I mean? So, yeah, it's the whole effect with them. And, uh, I mean, yeah, they was a uh, manager of Mankind at one time also. He even had a tag team with Mankind Kane. He didn't get along, but he was the manager of that. And, um, I mean, so many great memories from this guy. And uh, he's definitely going to be missed. And I know the whole wrestling world who knew him is leaping right now because he's one of the greatest. And definitely should be in the Hall of Fame next year or the year after. I mean, this guy, I mean, if he was going to go in there, he was probably going to be the one talking about him. And he would try to be the guy inducting him. But uh, hopefully those two guys, Kane and Eric, can come together and induct this guy because he's, he's a true legend. You know, a great manager, one of the best managers I knew. And uh, today's a sad day. Uh, if you have any favorite uh, memories of Paul Bear, please uh, leave a comment about him. I mean, I'd like to hear him, you know, it's something you really got to look back and say, oh, that guy was a big part of the Add to Era, you know, Undertaker's career and Kane's career, basically. And um, it's a sad loss. And uh, yeah, so um, leave a comment if you have a memory to share with everyone. Have a little chat maybe at the bottom, I don't know. Um, sad day. Bad day, and I'm gonna miss Paul Bear, and a lot of people will too. Yeah.